Uh, hello, everybody. Um, so my presentation is on Google Fiber, uh, which is a high speed Internet service that Google provides. Um, so what it uses really is fiber optic cables. Um, they provide Internet speeds up to a gigabit to homes and small businesses. Uh, fiber optic cables are able to transmit much faster um, than other means of transferring Internet because they use light. Um, as a section that deals with internet connectivity and, tele and telecommunications, uh, Google Fiber falls under the jurisdiction of the Alphabet Access Division, um, just because they do all of that. They handle all that stuff for Google. Um, so now, where Google Fiber is available, um, it's in two ways. It's in Fiber Cities, and it's available through WebPass. Um, so I'll explain what both of them are right now. Uh, basically, like the actual locations. Um, in terms of fiber cities are Atlanta, Georgia, Austin, Texas, uh, Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina, Nashville, Tennessee, and various other like minor cities, not like major, major, because they haven't been able to make that move just yet. Um, they're available in two ways through fiber cities. That's residential and small business. Um, so FTTP, which is fiber to the premises, is small business. And FTTH, which is fiber to the home, it handles residential areas, right? Um, so the plans for the home connection are the fiber 100 for $50 a month, the fiber 1000 for $70 a month, um, the fiber 100 TV bundle for uh, 140 a month, and the fiber 1000 TV bundle for 160 a month. Um, so for the small businesses now, you have the fiber business 100 for 70 a month, the fiber business 250 for 100 a month, and the fiber business 1000 for 250 a month, right? So obviously there's no TV bundle because you're a business, you're not going to require any like channels or TV access like that. You want to be getting down to your work, right? So now with WebPass, um, WebPass is the wireless option for Google Fiber. Um, it was originally its own company until Google Fiber obtained it in October 2016. Um, it can be used to give speeds of either 100, 200, or 500 megabits um, per second. Uh, and the cost of this doesn't isn't determined by the speed. That's determined by the location. Um, the cost is $60 regardless of anything. Um, WebPass is built to get to like tenant buildings, like apartment buildings, condos, and stuff like that. Um, so how it works is that WebPass first partners with a building. Um, they install a technology called a P-cell, which is a wireless radio on top of the roof of the building. Um, and when a new tenant signs up for WebPass, uh, their Ethernet port in their unit is activated um, to receive data from the building's wireless radio on the roof. Um, and then the resident just needs to plug in their router to get Wi-Fi and then proceed from there. Um, in terms of add-ons, customers can add on a uh, home phone for $10 a month, streaming entertainment like YouTube TV or Spotify, Hulu, Netflix for $15 a month, um, and various channel upgrades like the Latin channels um, for $5 a month. And if they want to go with a premium package with basically like every add-on they can get, it would be around 70, right? Um, and that would include like HBO, Stars, Cinemax, various sport channels, stuff like that. Um, so now what makes Google Fiber important? Uh, well, uh, Google Fiber affected the ISP industry significantly. Uh, in 2014, ISPs had the lowest satisfaction rating of any industry in the U.S., which continued until 2016. Uh, Google made a promise to disrupt the ISP market, which made existing providers try and provide faster speeds in areas that Google was planning on launching fiber. Um, so they basically offset everything the ISPs were trying to do and made them try and compete, basically. Um, so now why Google Fiber failed per se, um, basically placing fiber optic cables underground cost a fortune and even a company like Google couldn't afford to continue pursuing such a feat without seeing much profit before they hit major cities. Um, if they had continued at their rate of expansion into larger cities, 
uh, then they possibly may have been able to take over the ISP market and raise customer satisfaction to an appropriate level. However, for now, they've slowed down to they're slowed down their expansion to the point where WebPass is still expanding significantly, but fiber cities have like slowed down for now. Um, and that's basically my project.